Here is the first look at the new pond in the new berry land. I've been here about somewhere around 16 months now. Uh, been keeping very busy over all this time, but I did not start on the pond until probably about a month ago. So the first 15 months here, nothing was done on the pond. I finally got started on it, and here's the first look at it. Uh, this spot was chosen, well not really by me, it was mostly chosen by the land. Uh, the water all tended to run here and collect here, so the land told me this was the best place to uh, dig the pond as far as where the water wanted to be. Of course, as you can see, there's one big problem with having a pond here. There's a lot of trees here. I'm going to have to get rid of those trees. And um, I don't know, I'm hoping maybe the trees will help me on their own, save me some time and some work, and maybe some of them will fall down. Being that there's been a lot of digging going on around their roots, which you can't see because it's underwater, and then also the fact that they're just stuck in water for all this time, maybe some of them will tend to fall down. If not, we'll have to cut them down. So to work on the pond, every time it rains, it seems to fill up all the way. So to work on the pond or dig in it at all, I need to drain it every time I, I want to work on it. And that's what you're looking at right here. These, this pipe here is connected to a pump, which I have on this portable Ego outlet. I, I plug the pump into that outlet right there and pump it out through this PVC pipe into uh, the, the creek or the ditch that's right next to the pond. And yeah, now I'm using that ditch to, here's the ditch over here. Now I'm using this ditch to pump water out of the pond into while I'm trying to dig it. But someday when the pond's done, I may be pumping water out of that ditch into the pond. So it could, could come in useful uh, to be right there. And the pond in the old garden, I always called it Blackberry Pond. I, from day one when I first moved here, I knew there was going to be a pond, and I always planned on calling the new pond Blackberry Pond also. I uh, just wanted to carry the name over, but it turns out it's actually very appropriate because this pond has wild blackberries growing all around it. I didn't put them there. They're just there. So the name turned out to be very uh, appropriate. Uh, right now, I would say the uh, with the areas that I haven't dug, it, it's probably and that's the larger area. It's probably six to ten inches deep, or fifteen to twenty-five centimeters. And then in the areas where I've done lots of digging, it's probably up to three feet deep or a meter deep, and, and it seems to be holding water really well. Like I said. When I actually want to dig more or work on it, I have to pump it out. It doesn't seem to go out by itself, which is a good thing. The The pump is supposed to be rated for 800 gallons an hour. I, I don't know if it actually, how accurate those ratings are, but it, it pumps, it says it's an 800 gallon per hour pump. And it took about, the last time I pumped out the pond, it took about 16 hours. So that's about, doing the math, that's about 12,800 gallons. And I didn't pump it all the way empty. I didn't pump the deep ends empty. Uh, so there's still some water in there. So I would guess it's about 15,000 gallons where it is right now. Oh, and yeah, this, this look right here, before I get out of here, this is the pond area before any work was done. Just thought you might want to see that. That's, that's what it was before any digging was done. Well, that's all for this one. See ya. La